What does snapping a selfie, tweeting and talking about politics all have in common? If you guessed things you can't do inside a polling station, you'd be correct. There are a few rules you need to be aware of as you go off to cast your vote, especially if you haven't done so before. A huge number of first-time voters are expected this time around, and it's fair to say that the polling station can be a little daunting if you've not been before. As mentioned, selfies are banned inside the polling station. You are not allowed to take photos inside because the Electoral Commission, which oversees UK elections, says it risks the secrecy of the ballot. The punishment for revealing how someone else voted, even accidentally, is a fine of up to £5,000 or six months in prison. You are welcome to take photos outside the polling station, though. In a similar vein, you shouldn't be updating your social media inside the polling station. As tempting as it may be to share an update about who you voted for in the heat of the moment, just wait a few minutes and do it later. Political discussion is also banned inside polling stations, and staff will intervene if they hear any references to candidates or parties, so keep those names out of your mouth. Now, you may also want to bring your dog along with you, and that's fine as long as you leave them safely outside. First off, you can bring your children inside the polling station, as long as they don't mark your vote on the ballot paper. After all, helping to educate the next generation about democracy is very important. If you choose, you can also spoil your ballot by writing a message on the paper as a protest instead of casting a vote. These are recorded, but do not count for or against any candidate. And the most important thing to do in a polling station, obviously, is to vote. So grab your ID and head down to exercise your democratic right. <laughs>